I'm here today, be, well, the main reason is uh, the tapes, the 911 and the other tapes were played uh, for the Martin family, and they uh, identified that as their son uh, crying for help. Mm -hmm. uh, that is absolutely, positively George Zimmerman. Myself, my wife, family members, and friends know that that is George Zimmerman. There is no doubt who's yelling for help. Every day uh, in the news, the last thing I heard was this, well, there's two shots fired. Uh, I've heard George was chastening. I've heard so many different things that are just absolutely untrue. This has nothing to do with Neighborhood Watch. George had cooked dinner for him and his wife and was going to the store. He goes to the store the same time every week. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you all are familiar, but that's that little area is a very nice uh, yes. area. It is. Uh, but they have had numerous people come in there and commit burglaries uh, and other offenses. So it is a problem over there. So, uh, you know, I, I can't comment on, you know, what George saw or what George was thinking or what anybody saw or what they were thinking. But I know that George Zimmerman, um, if several Asians had broken in places there and he saw an Asian walking around, he'd probably say, well, wait a minute. I recognize most of the people that live here, and I don't recognize that person. You know, it's, uh, but my only thing, my only problem is every, everything I hear in the news is absolutely wrong. That was George yelling for help for at least 40 seconds. Someone came out their door. They saw George on the bottom being beaten. Uh, he had a broken nose, injuries to the back of his head. Uh, you know, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Did he talk to you any? Okay, I guess you were talking with Investigator Ardingstall a few minutes ago, and I think you also stated in here, but I want to reiterate that you indicated that you listened to the 911 tape, and the voice that you're hearing in the background is in fact your son. It is absolutely my son. Initially, when Mrs. Martin or her attorneys uh, said that it, it was their son, I thought, well, you know, she's under stress like everyone else, and I thought the tape might be, you know, not very good. When I listened to the tape, it, it was surprisingly good to me, and that was George, and he was... Uh, I mean, he was not just yelling. He was, sounded like he was screaming for his life. 